DK52, the Saturday morning meeting. Hey, back in time a little bit. Let me uh, give you some nostalgia. Late in the 80s, around 1987, 88 and everything, Toyota comes out with a six-cylinder in the Camry, 156 horsepower. Boy, it's a long way removed from that. As the Camry was introduced in 1983, every time we introduce another generation of a car, the car just gets better. Obviously, I'm sitting in an Avalon right now. I take you back into the old school days. We had the Cressida. What a tremendous car, way ahead of its time. It was just, there was just not a whole lot of Cressidas. This right here is the Avalon. So I guess the benchmark of Toyota and Lexus has always been the elimination of noise, vibration, and harshness, NVH. And we've, we're the leaders of that. So let's talk about some of the interior of the car. And I kind of apologize because, you know, we take for granted that when we're taught this, a decade ago that it's still being taught and I know some of the stuff that makes a Toyota a Toyota is just no longer being said anymore how quiet the car rides the engineers pour a lot of money in the elimination of noise vibration harshness you've heard the deal a million dollars an hour on research and development a lot of it is how the car sounds the carpeting of this car is a special design carpeting that actually absorbs sound inside the dash against the firewall there's a asphalt sheeting and a resin binding which actually blankets the noise from the engine compartment to inside the car. Acoustical controlled windshield so that you don't hear the rain or the wind noise on the car. So a lot of this stuff is just inherent to every Toyota we make. Obviously the more money you spend, the, 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 the less the noise vibration and harshness. In the door panels, they've actually sealed the door panels of Toyotas now. And what they didn't realize is the fidelity of the sound system would be improved because some of the bass and the mid-ranges are not being let out from different areas of the door. So it really compresses the sound of the door. So we're getting a bigger volume of sound in our audio systems without really changing the audio systems. So what we're going to do is talk a little bit today about why the cars are so quiet and what Toyota's done to make these cars sound like cars that are premium luxury cars at an affordable price. The doors, the sound of a door, when you're, when you're showing a car, everybody closes the door. They go listen to that quality. Well, the funny thing about Toyota, if you may not know this, they take little asphalt panels and they move it around the doors in a sound room until they get the sound they're looking for when the door closes. It's, it's like putting down a, a track for a music video or a, an album. You know, let's get the sound perfect. Well, they do the same thing with a door. Again, this is way past the point of what they'd have to do, but that's why every single Avalon, every single Camry door sounds exactly the same with that resonance that they program in the door. We're coming outside the car in the next part of elimination of noise, vibration, and harshness. MBH, PK52, the Saturday morning meeting extension. You gotta show the quality of a car. Many customers are shopping around multiple brands. And you know what, with all the quality out there today, I can't blame somebody for looking at four or five different brands before they decide on a car. They do their research online, and then they go drive the cars. You've gotta give your business card away. Because there is a chance that somebody might not buy a car from you the very first day, but you want to make sure that they use this as a tool to come back to you. So I've already pre-done this. I put a mark on there, as you can see on the, cam uh, the camera, and I line that up perfectly into the right in the middle of the hood gap. I go right here to the door, and that is exactly the same gap. I go back here in between the two doors, the A and B pillar. So this gap is exactly the same. So this is a great way to look at somebody and say, you know what? If you go look at other brands, just take my business card out of your pocket and just look at their gaps. If a gap here, here, and here don't match up, if it doesn't match up to the rear door or the fuel filler door or to the trunk deck lid, then is the quality the same as what we're putting in a Toyota? And in the customer's mind, obviously it's not. So I pay for quality. Quality increases the value of the car. But as far as elimination of noise, vibration, and harshness, the tighter tolerances that I can get on the gaps. Think about this. If the gaps get too tight, can't open and close the door. So Toyota goes down to that micromillimeter of gap tolerances, and the tighter the gaps, the less air noise.
The less air noise in the car, the quieter the car rides, the, the longer the car lasts, the less squeaks, vibrations, and rattles over time. I mean, you've gotten into a Toyota before, 100,000 miles, 200,000 miles, and it still drives like a brand new car. You guys that follow me know that I just traded in my FJ with 187,000 miles. And I used to always put people in my FJ and I would cover up the display panel and say, how many miles on this car? And they go, I don't know, 50, 60,000. At almost 200,000 miles, the car operated as quiet as it is the day it was new. Same thing with this Avalon. In all of these pillars right here, these are hollow tubes. If I was yelling at a hollow tube, it would increase my voice. So Toyota does something super expensive. They put baffles in every single part of the tubes of the car so that if there's noise trapped into the frame of the car it doesn't transfer inside the passenger compartment so it's a step that takes some time in the process but Toyota does this on every single model that's why the cars are so quiet in the engine compartment of the car this is really cool you know what we have is we have an engine that vibrates the more you accelerate the more you vibrate but I gotta tell you the biggest vibration you're ever gonna get on a car is stopping with the air conditioner on at a stoplight in traffic so what Toyota's done this is crazy is as the engine is vibrating there's an active control mount an active control engine mount that's fluid filled that actually vibrates the opposite direction of the engine so here's what's happening as they're vibrating under 900 RPMs, it completely eliminates the vibration that would be transferred inside the car. So when you're sitting there with a the customer and you got the air conditioner on, no radio on, they go, is this running? Is this car running? And so great thing about Toyotas is you can't double start them anymore. And we had to put that feature in the car because the things were so quiet that people were starting a car that was already running. Amazing legacy of this car. Inside, there's a subframe cradle. So you've got the unibody, Inside the unibody, there's a subframe cradle that's attached with rubber and polyurethane baffles. So as the engine starts to vibrate under torque, it's not transferred to the unibody, so the vibration doesn't transfer inside the car. Inside the firewall, like I said before, where the engine and the passenger compartment connect, asphalt sheeting to keep that noise from going inside. So what you have is revolutionary technology not in the performance of the car, not in the gas mileage of the car, not in the, 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 you know, all the specs that they look at motor trend. It's the creature comforts. I mean, I do want this car to be able to accelerate. I do want great braking on the car. But I got to tell you, with the hours you spend in traffic every day in a car, being able to shut the world out when you roll the windows up, you know what, to me, that's quality. Crazy if I grab my business card again and I put the gaps right here on the fuel filler door. It, it, it never ceases to amaze me how much detail the engineers at Toyota go through to eliminate noise, vibration, and harshness, and just to be able to give us the opportunity to show a customer on every side of the car how the car is perfect. Every car is perfect, and it comes off the transport and it's not perfect. Something happened while the car was being shipped to your dealership. That is the, the unique thing about Toyota is car after car after car are all exactly the same. That's why your resale value is so high. That's why when somebody's going to drive a lot of miles, they go, you know, I drive a lot of miles and everything. They're not out there looking for a Ford or a Chevy or a, or a Chrysler 200. Nobody says, I'm going to drive 50, 60,000 miles a year. I'm going to get a Chrysler 200. That's just not in the conversation. So the longer you're going to keep a car, the more you want a Toyota. And the, and the, and the Toyota also gives you more resale value because of the quality they've been in. Just simple things like this. If you reach in here, you could feel the felt line fender, under fenders. And, and they don't do that in the front because the wheels are sitting up in the engine compartment. But I mean, you can physically have the customer touch this and feel this. Again, this is, this is tactile. So three ways people learn is visually, which we've done in the series. The next thing is audible, and I'm telling you what I'm showing you. And the third thing is when you physically get the customer involved, you could have them do this, open the door, and hear the quality. I love doing this, putting somebody in the back seat to show the size of the back seat and say, listen to me and listen to my voice as I'm talking as I close the door. Open the door right back up. They go, oh my God, I couldn't even hear you. And I said, all right, well, I really was just making that up. But it shows them how quiet the car actually is. Walking over here to the trunk. In Europe, the boot, the boot. I mean, this is, you know, it's like a living room in here. Every piece is completely sealed. 
and carpeted. So again, this is a big hollow metal receptacle. If you look at a big kettle drum in an orchestra band, the bigger the surface of the drum is, the more noise is created. So what they've done is they've baffled the noise out of here. So it doesn't matter if it's the front of the car, through the windshield glass of the car, under the undercarriage of the car, or in the trunk. The last thing Toyota does before they build anything out, they ply the underbody or the unibody with asphalt resin binding. They just lay it and paint it in on the car so that before the car's ever built, the unibody's already quiet. So these are things that add quality. These are things that you could tell a customer before you ever take the demo drive, say, this is what you're not gonna hear, this is the quality of the car, and then when you get out on the road and do the demo drive, they, say, they realize that everything you said was fact. Raising the level of credibility raises the level of income. And you know what? A customer happy with their car is gonna show people and tell people exactly what you said. You're just creating your next Toyota buyer. This has been PK52, the Saturday morning meeting, coming to you old school, the elimination of noise, vibration, and harshness.